What's up guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be sharing with you how you can create a Red Hat server in AWS EC2. So from your console, you want to search for EC2. EC2 stands for Elastic Cloud Compute. Under Services, select EC2. Scroll down and select Launch Instance. Specify a name for your server. I am going to call this Red Hat. Under Application OS Images, select Red Hat. Here you can select the number of instances you want to create, right? So let's scroll down. We're going to keep the architecture the same. Here you can choose your instance type because I want to benefit from the free tier for this tutorial. I am not going to change it. However, you can always scale up or scale down your server when needed. Now you'll need a key pair to log in. So you can use an existing key pair. In my case, I have a key pair here. Or in your case, if you're creating a new server, select create key pair. This will be used to authenticate your server. So I'm just going to call this EC2 key. For the key pair type, keep the RSA. And if you're connecting with a client like FileZilla, you're going to want to download the PEM file. If you're using PuTTY, then, then you'll download the PPK. So create key pair, then scroll down. And for allow SSH traffic, you can do custom. For now, I'm going to select allow from my IP only. Here you can configure the storage for your server and add additional volume if you wish. However, I do not want to do that because I want to keep the benefit from the free tier because I can get up to 30 gigabytes under the free tier, right? So the 10 gig is fine. Then once you review all the information and you're satisfied, select launch instance. Now the launch of your instance has been successfully initiated. So select the instance ID here. And after a few minutes, the instance state will change to running. So once your instance is running, select your instance ID. Now we want to grab the public IP so we can SSH to the server. So launch your favorite SSH tool. I'll be using PuTTY in this tutorial. So here I'm just going to specify the public IP. And under SSH, you want to expand, expand auth, select credentials, and then browse and select the key file, select open. And now let's go back to session. You can save the session. You can specify a name for the session so you don't have to browse for the key file each time. So you could say EC2 server. Now when you save this and you launch PuTTY again, you could just open this and then connect to your server without having to specify the IP and browsing for the credential. So select open accept and to log in you'll use the ec2 user so this is our default user created by aws so you can see that i was successfully logged into my ec2 server so that's it for now guys thank you for watching and see you in the next video